Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at problem 16 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. We look at this system. We can see at the corner of this square, we, ha the, we have four charges placed, right? This is a negative Q, positive Q, negative Q, positive Q. The magnitude of the Q is given as 4.15 million coulombs. The distance of satellites is 0.1 meter. Now, we need to determine the magnitude and direction for force on each charge. And very likely, we can look at this square, we find it's a symmetry, right? It's a symmetry. So that means we can just look at the magnitude and direction of force on, e on one of the charges. Then you can get the rest one by using symmetry, uh, symmetry series. So we look at the force on the, this one. And we call the particle 4, right? So we have particle 1, particle 2, particle 3, and particle 4. Can you find the electric mag magnitude of electric force on the 1 and the 4? Yes, you can see particle 1 is a negative charge. Particle 4 is a positive charge. So there is attractive force, attraction, right? The for attractive force. So magnitude of the force is Q, Q squared over D squared. Now we look at the particle 2 with particle 4. You can see this is a positive. This is positive. So repulsive force pointing to the 45 degree with horizontal. And this magnitude force is just a Q, Q squared divided by the R squared the r is as a square 2d, so finally the distance is squared as a 2d squared, right? And then we can look at the particle 3 with the particle 4. This is attractive, attractive force, so it's pointing down. The magnitude is as a k times q squared over d squared. Now, it looks like we need to project the f Four one F four three F four two on X component and the Y component. Then we can find the magnitude for the net force. So we projected the F four one on X component. So this is pointing to negative side. So we add a negative zero, and the Y component it is just a zero. So we look at the F two one at X component. So times cosine forty five degree right to project it in X component. Answer is there, and then look at the y component. So projected in y component times the sine forty five degree. Answer is there, and also we look at the f four three. So look at the x component is zero, and the y component is negative sine there. Therefore, we can get the net force in x component and the y component by using this law, right? So we add the S component for each forces, the answer is zero. And uh, for y net force y component, so we add the net y component for each force f four one y plus f four two y plus f four three y. Add them there, you get the answer zero. Now you get the uh, this f four x f four y. Can you find the magnitude of this net force? Yes. So we can use x component squared plus y component force squared and squared and get the answer there. Similarly, we can get the angle as arctangent f4y over f4x. Answer is zero. Thank you.